Okay, hello. I'm Akinori Kawachi of Tokyo Institute of Technology. So this is joint work with Akira Numayama, Keisuke Tanaka, and Keita Kusagawa. Okay, let, uh, let me first briefly review the notion of the random oracle model. So the random oracle model is the uh, idealization of the random hash functions. So here is uh, uh, the party who wants to use a uh, hash function, and uh, here is a uh, random oracle. And, uh, so the party uh, wants to use the random hash function. Then, so he asks a query x to the random oracle. Then, the random oracle answers the random value y, which is uh, a value of x of uh, h of x. And uh, the value of y should be random value because, uh, yeah, we want to use a random hash function. Okay, this is a yeah br brief sketch of the random oracle model. And uh, the reason why we use uh, Random Oracle model is, uh, it has many, many advantages over, over the standard model. So like uh, security proof and assumptions and the efficiency of the yeah, cryptographic schemes. Okay. But uh, the problem is it's impossible to implement the real Random Oracle in practice. So in the context of, uh, in the, context of the practical uh, cryptographic schemes, so we want to replace the random oracle to the realistic hash function, okay? For example, so some protocol pi uses the random oracle in the random oracle model, then, so if we want to uh, implement this protocol, then we, want, uh, we have to replace the random oracle to the, some realistic hash function, okay? So even if we can prove the security of the, this protocol under the random oracle model, so the problem is that we uh, no longer guarantee the security of the, this protocol under the standard model. Okay. This is the main pro, uh, pro, problem of the random, hash, uh, land, random oracle model. Okay, so, but uh, there, is, there are many, many okay, useful properties of random oracle model like these two. Okay. So, for example, collision resistance, the first pre-image resistance, or that is uh, one-wayness. Uniformity, programmability, and more. Okay. So in this talk, I mainly focus on the pre-image resistance property. Okay. So given a hash function h and the value of y, then the uh, first pre-image resistance says uh, it's hard to find the pre-image x of y. Okay. So our motivation is is from uh, the question, so do all the pro useful pro properties of random oracle uh, required for the security proof, okay? So in particular, uh, our contribution focuses focus on the, yeah, these three properties of the random oracle model. Okay, so how should we specify which property is required for the security proof? If, okay, let's assume, so this protocol is secure under the random oracle model. And if we can formalize some, a variant of random oracle model without some useful property. Even in the, in the case, so if we can prove the security of the, the same protocol, so we can, we could conclude this property, uh, this protocol, the, essentially doesn't need the use, use, some useful property, okay. So we, we, we could con conclude that property is not re required for the, yeah, this property, uh, this protocol pi for the security proof. Such a model is, was, has been already uh, proposed by this work, 2006. So we, I, called, uh, I call the model as a weekend random oracle. So double ROMs for short. Okay, the model is uh, yeah proposed by Liskov and and then so under the such a weekend random oracle models, so there are many discussions about the construction of the cryptographic schemes like uh, hash constructions from weekend random oracle models instead of the land standard random oracle. And the Hoffman Shamia also uh, discuss the construction of the hash, hash constructions based on the same model. 
And、uh, the data signature schemes are, were also、uh, discussed in the paper of、uh, Pashini and Bodoni and Nimayama Ishiki and Tanaka.、Okay. However, there is no result about the encryption schemes because、uh, we, cannot, we couldn't apply the same argument to, to the case of the encryption schemes. So our focus is now on、uh, encryption schemes.、Okay. Uh, this is a summary of our results. So, Our contributions are about the security proof in the weekend random work、uh, in the context of the、uh, encryption, encryption schemes.、Okay. Informally, we show so, the、uh, well known construction of、uh, public key encryption scheme, OAEP, does not need the fast p r e m a g e resistance in the、uh, random work.、Okay. So, the fast p r e m a g e resistance implies also、uh, second p r e m a g e and、uh, Collision resistance properties, so we can prove the same security under the,、uh, these weekend random work models.、Okay. And、uh, the second result is more、uh, theoretical.、Okay. So the second, the second result, show, second result shows the、uh, separation of the security notion of the、uh, weekend random work models in the context of encryption schemes. So, for example, So, the strongest model is random oracle model. And、uh, the、uh, second st strongest one is、uh, random oracle without collision resistance property. Okay, so to separate these two notions, so we constructed uh, some, uh, some specific public key encryption scheme, which is secure under the、uh, ra standard random oracle model, but not secure in the、uh, weekend random oracle without、uh, collision resistance pr property. Okay,、uh, we can show. Such a, we can show such a、um, PKE between any two notions. So we can, yeah, sep separate,、uh, we can separate all, all, all four weekend random, or, random oracle models. Okay, so let's move to the brief sketch of the formalization of weekend random oracle model. So this s o f t idea is、uh, as follows. Okay. In the weekend random oracle model, so we have a standard random oracle, AO. In addition, so we can use、uh, some additional oracle. So, for example, so we want to discuss about the random oracle model without the first p r e m a g e resistance property. Then, so we add the, we add the additional oracle as First p r e m a g e oracle. This oracle answers the, some、uh, p r e m a g e of the random oracle. Okay,、uh, let's move to the details of the yeah, formalization.、Okay. Here is a, a standard random oracle model. The party who wants to use a random, oracle,、uh, random hash function queries x to the random oracle. Oh, here is a、uh, now, so the, we regard random oracle as an interface to the Table of random hash.、Okay. So the party asks query x to random oracle, then random oracle picks up the corresponding entry from the table, then answers, answers to the party.、Okay. In the random oracle model, okay, now so we focus on the first pre image tractable random oracle model. So we call this one. FPT ROM for short,、okay. first p r e m a g e structure.、Okay. In this model, so the party can use a random, standard random oracle and additional oracle we call first p r e m a g e oracle.、Okay. So the party, well, if the party asks X to the random oracle, then so random oracle answers uh, some uh, image of the Hash function y.、Okay. After that, if the party asks y to the first p r e m a g e oracle, then this oracle, answer, this oracle answers the p r e m a g e of x, satisfying y is equal to h of x.、Okay. This oracle has the property of first p r e m a g e tractability in the random oracle model. This is the basic idea of the weekend random oracle. 
Okay, now next uh, let's move to the security of OAP in the weekend random work models. Okay, uh, this is a brief dia diagram of the encryption scheme of OAP, but uh, uh, now the detail is not important. The important thing is uh, so the OAP uses two random oracles, G and H, and uh, so we we are now interested in what happens if we replace these random oracles to the weekend random oracle models. Okay. As for the security of OAP, Fujisaki Okamoto principal and Stan proved that uh, OAP is interesting to secure under the standard random oracle model. Uh, if so, okay, if, if is a, a partial domain trapdoor one-way permutation. So our result is uh, a version of uh, their security proof in the weekend random oracle models. Okay, we proved the OAP is in the too secure and uh, even under uh, FPT ROM, first pre-made tractable ROM, if F is a partial domain uh, trapped or one, one way permutation. So this result would imply the one wayness of the random oracle is not necessary for the security proof in the OAP. Okay, so the proof of the OAP, the security proof of the OAP in the weekend random oracle is very complicated. So let me discuss more uh, simpler PKE instead of the OAP. So let's consider this encryption scheme. Now, F is a uh, one-way permutation, a uh, one-way tra uh, trapdoor one-way function, and R is uh, encryption randomness, just a, a uniform random string. And uh, M is uh, plain text, and H is uh, random oracle. Okay, so. This scheme can be proven to be in the CPA secure in the random oracle model. And uh, for the security proof, so the, the uniformity property of random oracle is very important. Okay, uh, let's see the security proof of this simple PKE. Okay, so as usual, so we, di we assume there is an adversary that wins uh, in the CPS game described below. Then we can construct uh, some, uh, some inverting algorithm for the one-way function f. Okay. Okay, in, in, the, in, the, in the CPA game, adversary choose two messages, m0 and m1, and send, to the send them to the challenger. After that, challenger send back a cipher text corresponding to uh, one of plain text, M M0 or M1. And the uh, adversary tries to decide which cipher text is returned. Okay. So we assume this adversary can win this game. So, so now, so let, let's consider uh, some scenario. Okay. If adversary does not query R star to the random oracle. Okay. At this time, this value is uniformly at random from the adversary's view because this value is not queried by adversary. Okay. This implies this value is totally random not related to the choice P. Okay, so we can replace this value to the sum uniformly, uniformly random strain. So in this case, so the challenge ciphertext does not contain any information about the choice P. So it, this says the adversary had no chance to win this game with a uh, uh, meaningful advantage, okay. So, this scenario shows, so if A won, then the adversary should ask Alsa to H, okay. 
So this says the adversary A inverts the one-way function f of r star. So we can construct an inverting algorithm using this adversary that creates r star to the random lock. So here is a construction for the inverting algorithm using the adversary. Okay. So adversary should ask R star to the uh, uh, random oracle if A can win in the, C in the CPA game. Well, this is the point of the security proof in the standard random oracle model. Okay. Oh, this is just a uniformly random string instead of the uh, value of the random, uh, random oracle. Okay, next, let's move to the security proof in FPT ROM. Okay, in the case of the FT FPT ROM, so the adversary can access to random work as well as fast pre major work. Okay. This makes the security proof much more difficult. For constructing the inverting algorithm for one-way function, so we have to discuss the simulator for first pre-major work, okay, as well as random, random work. But uh, this is not a serious problem because the simulator for first pre-major work had been already proposed by pro previous results of uh, Numayama Ishiki and Tanaka. Okay. So what's the difficulty? The difficulty is the uniformity, okay? So, the problem is, so, whether we can replace this value, uh, uh, the random work value to the just simple uniformly random string or not. Okay, this is a serious problem for the security proof in the first pre-made structural random work model. Okay, what's the problem? Actually, FPT ROM does not have uniformity. So let's see the brief, uh, brief sketch of the reason. Okay, let the, the part, uh, this people to be an uh, adversary, and the uh, adversary can access to random oracle and uh, FPT, uh, F FP oracle. Okay, and now, we consider some special case. Pre-mage, in the, uh, the case that pre-mage is unique. Okay. So now, uh, T is the image of the random, some image of the random work, and uh, so S is the pre-mage of the T. At this case, if the adversary repeats the same query T, T to the first pre-image work, then it always answers the same answer. Same results, unique, unique S. This implies that A can learn this relationship about the random work. Okay. And thus, the, out, uh, the output distribution of the random work is not uniform, is not uniform from uh, the adversary's view. Okay. So, this says FPT ROM does not have uniformity. But uh, in our discussion, so we prove that FPT ROM has weak uniformity. In fact, the output distribution of random work is statistically close to uniform in the, even in the first pre-made structural random work model. This is our technical contribution. So uh, this is a, a formal statement of, of our uh, lemma, but uh, the, the important thing is that the output distribution is very statistically close to uniform, to the, yeah, statistically uniform. Yeah. So to prove the security in the FP, FPT ROM, actually it's enough for the weak, 
weak uniformity to, yeah, to prove the security in the FPT ROM. Okay. Ah, and uh, the second result is uh, summarized as follows. As I already said, so we can separate every two notions of the weekend random work model. Okay. For example, all, as, I, as I said, the OAP is secure even under FPT ROM, and uh, this implies uh, the security under uh, other weekend random work models. And uh, we, can, uh, we can show that so some public key encryption scheme using uh, Fuzaki Okamo tra transformation is sec uh, secure under uh, a second pre-image tractable random work model, but not secure in uh, first pre-image pre tractable random work model. This is a second law. Okay, and uh, so we also gave uh, some artificial variants of uh, Fuzaki, o Fuzaki Okamoto transformation DFO and WFO. Okay. This this satisfy these security notions. Okay. So we can complete uh, separate any two notions of the random work model in the context of public key crypto system. Yeah. Okay, this is the conclusion. Okay, we show the uh, security of the encryption schemes and uh, we can run a model. Okay. This is the uh, end of my talk. Thank you.